my name's Roy Brett. I'm the owner of Ondine Restaurant. Been open for 19 months now, and uh, I've been a chef now for 25 years. I started as an apprentice at the Caledonian Hotel, and then I went down to London to work, and uh, also went down the last uh, five years before I came back to Scotland. I was working with Rick Stein down in Padstow. So uh, the belonging to come to Scotland was too great, so we came home and uh, I opened up the Dakota restaurants and then and hotels and after that I felt I had to do it for myself, so here I am sitting in my own restaurant. I think uh, the reason why this restaurant's worked so well is because it's Scottish produce first and foremost. Um, I don't think it, you need to be a magician to make Scotland's food shine. I think that we, what we have here is the larder of success and what I try to do is just show in its most natural light and uh, I, f I feel that when we, we decided to, to do this restaurant our, our main reason was to give Edinburgh and Scotland a restaurant that we would be, um, enjoy and hopefully be proud of. One of our, our main objectives is, is just um, to make Bondi one of the most successful restaurants in terms of sustainability and uh, with all the awards that Ondine's um, achieved in its first 19 months, the, the main one for us is the Marine Stewardship Council's recognition for our, our buy-in and our ethical approach to the seafood and the sustainability of stocks. Uh, we also got heavily involved into Fish to Fork as well, which is again given us a recogni recognition in uh, our, our responsibility as a restaurant. Uh, but by and large, we, we're lucky to have Richard Lockhead in charge of uh, rural affairs and also on the fisheries side because it, for me, when I was the only restaurant and uh, still am technically the only restaurant to be uh, um, certified by the MS, MSC, uh, Richard came uh, for the first time we got our uh, award and it was in Dakota. He presented the award and I was quite, quite humbled to the fact that the, the, the Rural Affairs Minister would actually take the time out to support, which I still felt was a big campaign but was a small one. And ever since then I've noticed that Richard's always involved, always at the fore when it comes to making sure that Scotland's got a voice in sustainability. And you only need to look at the Pelagic fleet up in the Shetland Isles, completely certified by the MSC now, which is a great achievement. And the amount of fish that's actually landed in Scotland, you know, with the biggest catch on, and from the North Sea coming through in all the ports and the, the amount of um, accountability that the fishermen are now taking on and that's been spearheaded by Richard, it's such a, it, it's actually you feel like you're, in, you're involved in a, a movement that's doing the right thing for our, for our oceans. Well, I think that it makes you feel very proud to be Scottish, that's the first thing that I feel and uh, coming back to Scotland uh, I feel that there's actually, from the heart, there's a party there that's actually making you want to be part of it and actually make your business support Scotland, to support its produce, um, support its suppliers' links, to actually have a togetherness, to, to buy from each other, to have a togetherness. Um, we, we look at that very strongly. And uh, I've, I've, for me, being, I opened my restaurant 19 months ago, I've only known uh, to work under a, a, the Scottish Nationalist Party in government and I wouldn't want to change it just now. The most important thing for us is he, he actually remembers who you are, he remembers your name, he remembers the food he ate the last time. You know, it's, it's, it's really nice to have somebody who comes in and says, how are you, how's the restaurant, how's that dish, you know, there's, a, there's almost a, he does take in what you say. and. Um, I believe in a, when you meet somebody on a personal note who has that care, I believe that it gets carried on. Although we are, we have such a, the largest catch in the UK, we also have to take a, a big responsibility in how we catch and what we take from the oceans. And I know with the, the safeguard areas that are in, uh, in the North Sea now, which there is no fish, fishing zones, there is a, a, a good recovery on stocks on the on cod etc which is, is so important for the for the future of fisheries um, we also have a, a, a need to, to support the inland catches but it's with inland growth 
on the fish, whether it be the, the farmed uh, salmon that we have uh, on an expo point of view as well, and also to take the strain off the, the wild species. So I think we've got a, it's, it's going to be a long journey, but at the moment, every sign that's coming through from the government to us as restaurant as a restaurateur, it tells me that they care, they're actually taking the right steps so that in the future our children, our children after that will be able to hopefully eat some happy fish and, and keep the, the oceans plentiful in stock. Hi, I'm Roy Brett, I'm the owner of Ondine Restaurant in Edinburgh. The reason why I'll be voting for SNP is because since we've opened Ondine Restaurant, I've only known one government. It's a government that's never let my restaurant down or my industry down, so I'll be supporting them all the way. Yeah.